Want to learn more about Cascades by Taylor Morrison? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm gonna to be taking a tour of a brand new home construction in Summerlin, Red Point Square Village by Taylor Morrison called Cascades. It's a beautiful little quaint little area. <laughs> it's gonna be gated. So in this, um, community, there are going to be six floor plans to choose from. Three of them are going to be two-story and the other three are going to be three-story. And how it works is if you choose a model, it's going to be, uh, say that one of the models is called Acacia, then it's going to be Acacia Plus. And the Acacia Plus is the same floor plan as the Acacia, however it has the third story with a loft option and an outside patio where you can overlook the valley. Currently, the out of the three or out of the six models, they only have two actually modeled, which is the acacia and the cedar. So I hope you enjoy this tour. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the video tour. And when we come back, I will go over all the amenities that are included in the package of buying a home with Taylor Morrison at Cascades. Today I'm taking a tour of Cascades by Taylor Morrison over here in the Red Point Square Village. I'm going to show you two of the model homes and there are actually three floor plans. Only two are modeled, which is the Acacia and the Cedar. And there's another floor plan called the Beach. Um, the starting price for this model is $399,900. However, the sales agent did tell me that the pricing will go up on Monday. So anytime they release more lots because they're selling so fast, they do a price increase. So it's important that if you do like a home, that you buy it soon. Otherwise, each release will have a price increase. I like this. As you walk in, you have the beautiful stairs, the nice flooring, the open floor plan, now it's important to know that when you do buy a model home, a lot of the can lighting is not included. Typically, it comes pre-wired for the great room, for the ceiling fan, and in the master. And any extra wiring you want is gonna be extra money. A lot of times in these model homes, they put a lot of upgrades in them that are not standard of the typical what you get. So this is an open floor plan. The square footage of this one, 1649. And a side note is that they also have an option to buy the Acacia Plus, which is a little bigger and it makes it three stories with three bedrooms, still two and a half baths. And then the third floor bonus room with an outer door deck and a two car garage still. But that increases the square footage from 1649 to 1944 square feet. Um, they use the quartz countertops, which I like. It's kind of cool to do the dark gray quartz in the middle with the flat panel cabinets and then the quartz countertops. After I'm done taking a tour, I'll go over all the options that are included um, with Taylor Morrison. Yeah, for 1,600 square feet, this feels actually pretty good. As you walk up, there is no loft. You can go around with an upstairs laundry to 
just the bedrooms in the back. This must be the master. Pretty large master. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful views. Now there is no guarantee that you will continue to have these views once they start developing here in Summerlin and depending on where your lot is located. Hey, hey, everybody. Then they have the separate shower and tub. I gotta stop calling it master. They don't call it master anymore. Primary. It's gonna be very hard to get used to calling primary. And a separate toilet room and a huge master closet, which is nice. It's actually a great day to be filming because it's not that sunny. Then your separate laundry upstairs. Yeah, this is a great floor plan. The square footage feels really big compared to 1,600 square feet. I like what they did here with the tile. Nice custom work. And I bet you this um, shower insert is basic and it comes with the purchase of the home. And if you don't want that shower insert, it would cost you more money. Then you have the two bedrooms Away from the master, looks like it's a um, good size, kind of, 10 by 10. Again, if you want ceiling fans and can lighting, that is probably going to be extra cost to have everything pre-wired. Depending on what the builder includes in the package. Yeah, like for $16.49, it's not bad. And then if you got the third story option, that has a loft or a bonus room with the outdoor deck. It's 1944 square feet, so that's pretty cool. Too bad I didn't put a rooftop deck on that. So I wanna go to the next model. So now we're going to take a tour of the cedar model and this is the largest square footage one i guess you could say with 2002 square feet um four beds plus loft two and a half bath covered backyard patio upstairs suite with a covered patio and a two-car garage now if you want to buy the cedar plus It'll be three stories, four plus bedrooms and a loft, two and a half baths, the covered, you know, backyard patio, um, owner suite covered patio on third floor, bonus room with outdoor deck. That's pretty cool. Third floor bonus room with an outdoor deck. And that one's 2242 square feet. So the base price of this one's 431,900. That's as of today, December 24th. Again, that pricing will change as they release more lots and they are selling fast. So it's important that if you like, and you wanna buy a new home in Summerlin, that you buy fast, cause they're selling fast. I actually like this floor plan, this is nice. It kinda of reminds me of a KB home floor plan in a way. It's very beautiful, love the decor. I love leather couches like that, but let's give you the 360 view of downstairs. And you could also buy a lighting package where you could have the can, I mean, not can, but the pendant lighting pre-wired. I like the white shaker cabinets, very simple, basic. Love the chevron or herringbone pattern, backsplash and appliances. Again, once I'm done touring this home, I will go over everything that's included with Taylor Morrison, and then you can choose if you like it or not. This is the largest model at 2,002 square feet, and you walk up the stairs with a half bath. I 
Oh, I was wrong. The starting price for this one's four thirty one nine hundred. So disregard that. Okay, as you walk up, very nice. Let's go straight. This looks like the loft. It's a little loft. It's like a meeting area. Cute. And then there's a full bathroom upstairs, which is nice with the double sinks. Now, since this is 2,000 square feet and has four bedrooms, the bedrooms are going to be small, probably 10 by 10 bedrooms. Just food for thought on that. This looks better. This looks bigger. Probably 12 by 11. I like this little nook area. And the closets. Then another bedroom. Very cool. Made it into an exercise room. Laundry upstairs, and then the master upstairs. So as a side note, when you buy a new home, it's customary to spend 10 to 15% in upgrades. So all the bedrooms, the only areas that come tiled is typically your wet areas, which would be your entry, your bathrooms and kitchen. If it were me, and the rest comes with carpet. So for me, I would make sure that there's no carpet in the house, especially for resale purposes. No one likes carpet, even in the bedrooms. But if you must, only put them in the bedrooms. It's just a decent size primary bathroom. I really like this shower though, with the rain head shower, like the design pattern for the tile. And then this comes with your own covered patio, which is nice. I wish they had the third story model, that would have been cool. Again, these views are probably not gonna be views for much longer once they start building out. That concludes my model home tour of Cascades by Taylor Morrison over here in the Red Point Square Village. There you have it, folks. So what did you think of the tour? It was pretty nice. I like model homes. I like touring model homes because you get a lot of design ideas. So I'm going to go over what is included with um, the basic for buying in this community. Basically, there are 54 homes. That's not a lot. It's a very small community. It's gated. And the HOA is $184 a month, 136 of that goes to Cascades, and 48 of that goes to Summerlin West. Uh, let's see what else is important. The SIDS are $383 semi-annually, which is roughly around 11,000 for I think 15 years. Um, it takes about six months to build, and they are selling fast. So the three models that I mentioned, there's six models total. There's Acacia, which is a two-story, three beds, two and a half baths, covered patio in the backyard and two-car garage, and 1649 square feet. And the starting price as of today is 399,900. But when I was in the sales office, 
the agent said that that price is going up. So every time they sell and release more lots to sell, the prices always go up. So it's important that if you do wanna buy in a new home community, that you probably buy sooner rather than later because by the time the later comes, those prices are gonna be much higher than they originally started out with. So I did take a tour of the Acacia, as you saw. Next is the beach model. Two story, three bedrooms plus loft, two and a half baths, covered patio in the backyard, two car garage, and this is 1813 square feet. Starting price is 411,900. Now this is all the base price and that does not include any other extra upgrades that you wanna put in the home. Next is Cedar. Um, this is two story, four bedrooms plus loft, two and a half bathrooms, covered um, backyard patio, owner suite covered patio, which is nice, two car garage, 2,000 square feet, starting price 431,900, and I toured that one as well. Now each of these models come in the plus, which would be a third floor addition, and um, with an outdoor deck and extra square footage. If you wanna learn more specifically about each of these models, I'll post a link in the description to my website below. Now for the features, that's what everyone wants to know. What is included when you buy a home in the Cascades by Taylor Morrison. So they have generous outdoor living spaces with integral to the plan, nine foot high ceilings, telephone outlets and kitchen and owner's bedroom. Telephone outlets? Um, does anyone even have a telephone anymore? <laughs> Just kidding. Cable outlets and gathering room and owner's bedroom. Pre-wired for ceiling fan and gathering room and owner's bedroom, which I had mentioned in one of the videos. Um, if you want additional pre-wiring in all the other bedrooms, that would cost extra. Uh, Walk-in closets, six to eight foot raised panel interior doors, including bypass. Oh, and they have six to eight feet entry doors. So the kitchen comes with granite countertops with one and a half inch flat polished edge with six inch backsplash. Now for me, I would ditch the builder's choice for granite and pick my own, either granite or quartz, and I would not do that backsplash, that, that six and a half inch backsplash. I would do my own tile design, maybe something like I have in the background, a herringbone, subway tile, whatever it may be, but do not do that six and a half inch backsplash, just from experience. Aristo Craft, Ellis Pure Style White or Stone Gray 36 inch upper cabinet so that's nice that they either give you white or gray that's awesome stainless double bowl undermount sink that's a good one island workstations with countertop seating perfect usb port and kitchen awesome ge stainless steel 30 inch freestanding gas range one six cubic foot micro hood over the range ge stainless steel 24 inch energy saving multifunction dishwasher Moen hands-free kitchen faucet and pre-plumb for automatic ice maker. Important note, when you buy a home, new home, they do not come with refrigerator or washer and dryer. So in the bathrooms, you have a private water closet compartment in the owner's bath and elongated commode. We need those long toilets, right? <laughs> Undermount rectangle sinks, white cultured marble vanities with, uh, throughout with four inch backsplash, designer Moen faucets, low maintenance tub showers and secondary baths, and adult height cabinets in all the baths. So I would imagine that those are more than the standard, uh, probably 36 inches or higher. Energy efficient features, which includes um, the low flow commodes and water safe shower heads, dual paint vinyl insulated windows, um, and also the covered patio doors, gas forced air heating, energy efficient 14 sear ground mounted air conditioning system, digital programmable thermostats, decorative rocker switches, and tankless water heater. So that's cool, tankless water heater is awesome. Um, so again, any other additional features that you wanna add to the home is gonna cost. And typically what they do is they'll have a floor plan and give you the options if you add this or that and, and how much those options cost. So as I mentioned in one of the videos, it's important that if you do want additional upgrades, it's typically around 10 to 15% on top of the base price. Now, 
as I also mentioned, most of the wet areas, kitchen, entryway, and bathrooms will come tiled. The rest will be carpeted. And if it were me, I would not do that. If, if it were me and I was buying a new home, I would spend that extra money in putting it in the flooring and also the kitchen. You know, bathrooms are secondary. Maybe the primary bathroom updated a little or upgraded a little, but the rest, kitchen cabinets, quartz countertops, um, and then either tile or laminate flooring throughout. Well, I hope you enjoyed my home tour of the Cascades by Taylor Morrison in the Red Point Square Village here in Summerlin. Um, I'm trying to do a different take on doing these video tours. I try to do it as if you were my client and I was doing a actual FaceTime tour with you showing the home. That's the point of this, to get a feel of how the models look like. Again, with an understanding that they're not gonna look like that when you buy them and it's gonna cost money, extra money, to upgrade it the way some of these model homes look like, okay? But if you're thinking about buying a new home construction, you know who to call, right? Me, Angelo Hare. <laughs> call me at 702-370-5112. My goal is to be able to assist you from beginning to end when you're buying your new home construction and to also educate myself and everything that all these new home sites offer in the Summerlin Master Plan community. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.